day five. And final day. Hello everybody, Skippy Gamer here. Okay, you may be wondering, what are we doing here? Well, I guess I just want to see one video, one clip of the game one last time. Okay, so, little base Kitty Gamer here, welcome to day five of my five days gameplay of Sonic Adventures 2 Battle. <laughs> Last day before the review. Awesome. Okay, so, we pretty much went through everything about this game, so, what can we do now? Well, I thought maybe I'd show some other gameplay, like maybe mess around with things a bit, and stuff like that, so. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty much free time. Like, you can see me play through maybe Dark Story, maybe play through Go Kart, Kart Racing in the other stages, or who knows? In <laughs> I'm thinking of doing Japanese dub just for the heck of it. So, you may see that later. So, if you're hoping that it would go in depth about certain modes of this game, maybe you will, maybe you won't. So, I guess it'll vary. But I pretty much covered everything you need to know in my four videos, like even the multiplayer, so yeah, you might as well go to the review. Okay, so for starters, I think I'm gonna start the dark story. Select your story. Which scene do you want to start from? Okay, I'm doing the dark story. I cut some video out for reasons I'm trying to into. Here's a true fact. Um, I think timeline-wise, the story begins here. And I'll explain it. All units prepare to engage. Emergency battle formation. Standard battle procedures. Please note that my audio and commentary is going to be a bit off in this video. This is not a drill. This is not a Note of that, he's looking for a weapon by his great-grandfather. Is it great or great-great? I think it's just grandfather. Intruder alert. Assume level so one yeah, we're, like we're starting with Sonic, we're starting with a start. So, um, well, I might as well... I doubt any of you asked me, like, in comments or anything, and even if you did, I pre-recorded all the video, even the review, so I probably didn't receive a comment, but I guess some, I wonder if some people are gonna ask me, like, are you gonna do a Let's Play this game, Skippy Gamer? Well, in case you are wondering, I might as well answer it now. As of right now, no, I don't want to do a Let's Play right now. My reason being is, I want to finish my first Let's Play, but I want it to be a special game, concerning reasons I'm not going to get into, but I want it to be special, and somewhat long, and nowadays, since like, when I was young, it would probably take me forever to beat this whole game, but now I'm grown up, it would take me, you know, probably just a couple videos for me to finish this whole thing, so, yeah, it really wouldn't be that cool of a Let's Play. Maybe I will in the future, but as of right now, I really, I really don't really want to. So, in case you have any of you wondering if I'll do a Let's Play this game, um, I think there's a secret back in here. Oh yeah, if you go here, we get our first upgrade for Eggman. Laser Blaster. 
Lock on missile power up. Missiles spread to add to it. as it explodes, it destroys in a wide area. Alright, so we have an upgrade for Eggman. Like we have for Sonic, we have one for Eggman. Turn the camera. We have green blasters. And I think it's explosion that actually, like, disintegrates other stuff in your ass. Well, I don't really know what's going on, so. And, yeah, I know this place is dark, and I swear, I think, I think I'm going to show just something on my own YouTube to see things, because I think things are lighter than this, honestly. I mean, it's dark on my screen, too, but I swear, it's, it wasn't this cool. I mean, you got, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the Elgato right now, you have better quality than my TV right now, but, yeah, I'm rambling again. Yeah, I gotta think about their stuff to talk about, like some new Nintendo games to me. Hey, who can't wait for Fire Emblem Fates? Raise your hand. Okay, let me know in the comments if you can't wait for it. Um, let me know in the comments if you played Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS. <laughs> I I just recently finished Fire Emblem Fates and oh my gosh, I loved it! I'm not gonna say anything, but it's a game I really, really encourage you to get. <laughs> and for all the people online who say it's a great game, they don't lie. They, it is a great game. Uh, and I cannot wait for this. I can't wait. I think I heard it's coming out in March or February. Don't quote me, but somewhere around 2016. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I'm sorry, I'm just acting like a little boy. I'm saying, what the hell? Alright, it's true, I really do want it now. Okay. Um, okay, for this last segment, go forward. Whoa! Okay, those look special. Oh, I'll have to... Uh-oh. See the metal on the hinges? Yeah, we cannot blow it up. It's a dead end. People have released an unfinished game. We cannot go further. Oh my gosh, how this makes sales. No wonder it was a terrible game. Okay, is it considered a terrible, terrible game to people? I don't know. But anyways, no, you're wrong. It's, there is a way to pass this. All we have to do is walk onto this thing, fire, and rewrite the missile, blow it all up. And look, we got some... What are those things? Some thing that makes us go faster. Go in the center, keep moving, and we could go there in record time. Yosh. Although if you slow down and try to go to the back, you can actually get a Chow Garden Key. If you're trying to collect all those. Yeah. Hmm, that wasn't so difficult. Well, it wasn't. Testing. Oh, oh. Oh. So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. <laughs> Enter user data. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. <laughs> I like the computer technology in this game. I'm the type of futuristic looking thing in what seems like a modern civilization like us. I just jumped in. So what's this weapon that his grandfather created? It must be big. It must be a mech warrior. It must be Titan from Titanfall. It must be. It must be. Great Scott Shadow! Is that you, Sonic? Are you trying to spoil my plans again? Wait a minute. You're not Sonic. This is impossible. My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master. I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. So yes! Shadow the Hedgehog was created by Eggman's grandfather. That's interesting. 
Right now, we this have to play Shadow in this upgrade version of the boss earlier in Sonic's story. Alright, I'm gonna... Alright. Basically, he plays the same thing as Sonic, although there is some differences between them. As you can tell, this story mode is intended for people who played all of Hero Mode. Alright, I think there's a segment after he launches the missiles, like Mookie does, so I'm gonna wait for that to be done. Okay, I guess when I hit one. So, everything's the same. You can shoot as which one of the weaknesses, whether he flies to you or lands. It's up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable doing. I'm gonna hit him right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, ring, 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 ring. And I die. I die. This is Scorpion okay. Trip's hot shot. Enemy movement has been detected. In route to intercept and destroy. Copy that. Aim for the That's Chow, let me play. Uh, that's play for Hi Okay, I hit him once. I think he uses some sort of move, but I think he has to go to a corner first before then. Yeah, okay. You can outrun this red radical thing. Be out of the way of it, because when he shoots a big wet wind beam, what is that thing? It will hit you and yeah, you will take damage. So you can outrun it, and as you take as the robot takes damage from you. The, the the amount of times he uses that beam will increase, so so just keep moving whenever you use it. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving, keep moving. And don't think of jumping over it, because it will follow you if you jump. Like, if you jump on top of the box, which was there, um, yeah, it won't last. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to use my voice to block out the sound from my opinion, which is mainly as much as Okay, as you can see, even if you jump, it will catch up with you, so just, all you have to do is just keep moving. And yeah, in his last hit, he will shoot more than one of these things. Three, to be exact, I think it's just three. Okay, wow, I tried to be a hero there. What am I talking about? I'm in the dark side store. I don't even Oh. Out of there. Okay. <laughs> Pathetic humans. <laughs> All right. Destroying that guard robot was spectacular. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark! Ooh, what was that about? Okay. And we're playing this whole scene again with Rouge's song this time, but we're gonna skip. I'm sorry, we're just gonna skip. Okay, three pieces of the Master Emerald. Alright, now we play Rouge, and Rouge plays just the same thing as Knuckles, except whenever she moves, she kicks instead of flies. And she actually has a special kind of stage where she can actually camouflage in a security guard or something. No. That's the stage for later, which won't be covered in these videos, so... Okay, um... Oh, by the way, go this turtle right here. As you can see, he's kind of trapped by these... gun robots. If you defeat them all, the turtle will come and go into the water. This will open a new path in the level. This is one half of the level, in a very small half, but before we go there, I'm gonna... Offering. Uh, before we go there, I'm gonna make sure there are no mass... The first emerald piece is not here. Oh. Okay. You know what, there's actually something... Well, actually, that's a feature for later. 
yeah, this is on my personal file, and I pretty much upgraded Rouge to her maximum, so these purple things you see out of her, that's because she's upgraded to the max with all the equipment. So, but no need for that. If you go on top of the turtle... Hold on, let, let me see this thing. Big oasis. Hmm. I have an idea. Go on the turtle, press B, you could go to the other half of the stage, which is this massive area. Okay, and as we see, the first emerald piece is somewhere over here. Um, I think I see it, is that it? No, that's just a fish. I'm trying to find it. Oh, by the way, if you're underwater, do not stay in here too long. It will sound the music going da 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 sort of thing. Yeah, when you hear that, that means to get out quickly. Um, I should get out fast. <laughs> Man, when I was young, I was always afraid to go underwater with Rouge, because I was like, oh my gosh, my character will drown, then I'll lose. Oh my gosh. That's the kind of things I thought of when I was a kid. So. Oh, okay. Yes, we're out here. Maybe right here in the center. Maybe the box. Maybe the box. No, the box. Um. Uh. Where the heck? Uh, by this bush? By. Oh, oh. Right here. Right here. How about right here? Um. Right here. Okay. Yeah, there's a feature that Knuckles and Rouge could get where you could dig. I'm not gonna get into that. Okay, where the heck? Um, okay, it's right here. It's... <laughs> okay, look! It's right there, right by her head. Right in front of me. <laughs> in front of me. Oh, wow. Wait, how did I miss that? It should've been, like, right... Oh, you know what? Never mind. Um, I think that was just funny, but it doesn't make sense at the same time. Jar surrounded by three stakes. Okay. So do is go here. No blink at all. Whoa! There's the third piece. Right there. Ah! Now we have to worry about the second piece. I wonder what the hands would have said. So I think the last piece could be right over there by the big bald dudes down below. I have a bad feeling where the dudes this. Okay. Run the mode. Woohoo! Okay, uh, I'll figure out how I'm gonna get Is it like underwater? Is it above water? Is it just is it is it? Is it? Okay, let's go up. Um, you know what? I'm gonna check the other zone. Oh, hang on. No, it's good. He's right here in the first half. Somewhere. Okay, a jar surrounded by... By what? A jar surrounded by three stakes. Thank you. A jar surrounded by three stakes. There. 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 Okay, a jar surrounded by three stakes. Well, there's one there's a jar that's surrounded. So we can be there. Yeah, it could be possible that it's here instead. One more hint. A jar that's near a small. I have a couple of ideas. I have a couple of ideas with the hints just meant. Um, how about up here? Water? No, uh, this is what I was thinking of, but then again, no jar. Okay, um, wait, are you sure it's not this? It's by, well, this said three hits, okay. Uh, wait, there's a pool right there. No, not there either. Um, it's offering no more hints. I mean, no more hints. <laughs> oh, that's just great, that's just great. Um, maybe on the wall by the... Notice like a lot of Egyptian mythology references. I think there's a good reason why, which is that it's later on in the story, you'll notice that piece from the hero story. Wow, is it dark? Okay, um, let's see. Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna cut part of this video. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah, one of those wrong. 
robots show what we need there. Um, I think we'll be able to there. That's the only thing I think of. Okay. Camera, down here. Down. Ah. Red. Oh my gosh. Oh, three, one, two. Wait, where's the third? Never mind, we found it. Yeah, there's the third hinge. Okay, there we go. And that's how you do it. Okay, um. I think I know what. What happens here in the story? I'm ashamed to call myself a hunter. I'm ashamed you call yourself a hunter at all, because you're technically a thief. Oh, this stage. I was thinking of a different stage, because our first stage was Shadow, but no, it's this one. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. <laughs> Let's take care of business here first, then get inside. Yeah, essentially, Gun is here and Eggman is going to take him out before going into space. Yes, he has a secret base in Egypt. <laughs> Who would have known? Okay. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to exit there. All right, um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Before you close this video, I'm gonna try the Japanese dub. Oh my gosh. But I'm gonna keep the subtitles on. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna laugh hysterically at this. Yeah, I'm used to the English dub better. I just want to see what it's like in Japanese. And I have mixed feelings. Okay, it didn't sound like it said a thing. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm wondering how they did this song. Is it. Oh good, they did the song in English. I'm kinda surprised. Okay. Oh, oh. You know what, I think we're pretty much done here. So... Yeah, I'm pretty much done here. Alright, I guess we're done today. I'm gonna switch back to the English mode. <laughs> And I think I'll be done here. So, next video should be my video review on what I think of the game, either its entirety or some of it, after coming back to it. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you so much for watching me this week. Sorry if the audio was iffy. I have a feeling there's going to be problems with the audio. Like, maybe my... I don't know. So, let me know if there was some audio trouble, like my voice didn't sync in well. Maybe. My, I, may I try, I raise my voice a lot, like, you know, talk loud, so I can make you guys hear me, or block out the sound in my living room, but, if that was too much, let me know, I'll try my best not to do that again, and, yeah, <laughs> they do those montages, I gotta wonder how they do montages like that when they I want to see the song. Alright guys, see you next time. 
and see you in the review. See ya! Uh, good song. Good song. Okay, see you next time, everybody, and Happy New Year!